We're sharing an anniversary. Hey, you're ready. One dink, donkey, deliery, one dink, donkey, deliery, one dink, donkey, deliery, one party popper. Deliery, one party popper. Ready. We sweet share an anniversary. That's amazing. So, so. Ready. Hey, Garrett, I see you. I see you sparkling in chat. So, so. I mean, that that works for me. I think that I still think that's cool. Oh, <gasps> Ravi, you're totally snake beard. Good job. I approve. Don't forget to pack a color. Balloons. Yes. Do we need those to last longer? please i got you no no one can steal your sparkle bear you're still the sparkliest beard around yeah pink No one yet. No one's gonna try and take your spark. I oh the ads, the ads, man. Um, hi, hi Pierre, hi Ravi. It it hung in the whole like starting soon thing, but nothing happened. So I had to push the button myself. And hopefully now it's okay. I... Yeah, there's it it is no consistency with it. It's like sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's not. And there's no consistency at all. Um, so I got I got the pool up yesterday. Why is that so stuttery? We I used the pool twice yesterday. Yeah. Um, we have like a a bit of a a slope on the yard that I didn't realize. So we have a deep end and a shallow end. But it's not a problem, really. So we went out uh, in the afternoon. It's not a huge gradient. The, it's supposed to be round, but because of the gradient on the hill, the pool is kind of more oval shaped. But it's fine because it's like... It, it's totally fine. It's just like one of those ones with the inflatable ring around the top holding the shape. Um. Yeah, I went out during the afternoon. I basically sat out in the sun all afternoon watching it fill because I was... I didn't want to leave it unattended. Because... When I was growing up in New Zealand, we had it like drilled in our heads that... I think there was like some public health campaign, like oh, it only takes an inch of water to drown a baby or something. And so I can't leave water unattended. So basically sat there all afternoon in the sun watching um, this pool so that it could fill. <laughs> Eventually Flint dragged me away to eat. Um, and then we jumped in again in the evening and it was actually really nice. It was fuck it was it was too cold for me in the evening. But there was a thunderstorm in the distance, so we were like laying out there in the dark and you could see like the lightning popped off. Um, so yeah, so glad it, it, it was, yeah, yeah, we've got a cover. Um, so, and you know, there's no children 
in our house. There's no children in the neighbor's yard. Um, and it's fe our section's fenced. Um, and it's like I'm I'm satisfied with the safety measures that we have. Um, like there's no ladder, so you can't like. It's it'd be pretty hard to get in there. But yeah, I was still just like because that's how my brain works. Um. The inflatable ring on the edge is quite nice though because you can like lay in there and then just like put your head back and if you get like the ring just in like the thing of your neck you can just like use it as a pillow and just like float. A frogs and gators in my bowl. There, I saw some little tiny frogs out there yesterday like not even half an inch long and I saw a really pretty snake as well where I was clearing up some yard. Hi Mega Jelly Max. Um I was trying to like cut some of the, the grass back just to give more space around the pool. <gasps> yes please. Um and uh I lifted up this piece of lumber and this it was a good sized snake, a uh, black one. So it's just like one of them garden snakes. It was just like hey back you and then like took off, but it was really pretty. We we have frogs everywhere. <laughs> so uh at the right time of year, we have got like a pond in the front yard. And that is like that is the uh the spot that all the young frogs like go to hook up. And it's so loud out there. It's ridiculous. We've had like them from like anywhere from like that size to like the size of my hand, that pond. So. Still a few things I need to get. I need to get like a little net. Um, but it's not a big pool, so. But yeah, it was nice. So once it gets really hot, we'll be able to go out there in the evenings and it'll be lovely. Uh, so... I hope you all had a good start to the week. Yesterday I spent all day in the sun and I've not done that in a long time. I had sunscreen on and a hat. So I was a good girl. Um, because Pud reminded me of sunscreen. Um, yeah, I think my body is just like, what do I do? What, what do I do with this? I am decidedly more freckly today, though. I have a lot more freckles on my arms. And uh, this pool is supposed to be like a 30 minute setup for one person. Uh, it just took longer than that. Oh, oh gosh, Ravi. We definitely get gators in the area, but not directly where we are. Yeah. Hi, San. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't take long for me to get frickly. When I was a kid, I was, I was super tanned as a kid. It normally, it doesn't take long for me to go bright red, but I know, I guess we did good. We, so Flint, I'm sure you'll be surprised. Flint's mum had three boys and Flint was the one who would bring gators home and snakes and frogs. <laughs> yeah, it was a, not surprised at, at all. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that was you, but with cats. I feel like cats is probably somewhat less potentially problematic than gators, but still, I know what some cats are like, so there's still a whole lot of chomping and scratching going on there. I haven't seen any gators in the neighborhood, but we've got lots of retention ponds and there is a creek nearby. Um, and not far away, there's a bunch of, there's a, a bunch of park 
and like where we are in the city it's pretty close to the edge so there's lots of undeveloped land so there's a hundred percent gators out there hopefully not in my swimming pool and a turtle it's amazing we don't have any of that growing up in new zealand there's no uh native amphibian or i think there might be like one frog a couple of tree frogs in the oh no there is i mean in the the tuatara but no gators thankfully um i assure you though if i see a gator in the pond i will take a photo of flint wrestling it tuatara are cool at, at university um they had a, an enclosure with tuatara in there was like this neat sort of overpass that, that bridged a steep road so you had like some buildings on each side and then this big glass overpass where i used to like and sit to watch like watch the traffic and stuff but at one end of it was this little like tuatara enclosure um i don't know how the university had them i guess just because of the the biology department uh, but they are the, like, the coolest things you didn't really see them very often but it was uh it's a good little habitat for them and kind of cool to have at a university too we also had lots of pigeons not quite the same as Tuvatara lots of pigeons i had i had my favorite pigeons at university so that was a thing um yeah <laughs> we're not gonna have a tour tower in the pool either they are when i when i was doing i studied over summer which is like christmas time like end of year um and i always just did summer courses just because it sped up things and it was i really liked at university in summer because it was more quiet so like some of the functions like the bar was closed and the cafe was like had limited hours but the library was so easy to get into in summer and just like the whole campus was just so much more relaxed so i always had like my favorite spots where i'd go and you'd, you'd get to a point where the pigeons would recognize the people that gave them food so I always had like extra treats for the pigeons and my favorite spot we had this this arrangement where I'd finish my, my Latin class and then I'd go sit in the sun with a sandwich and share my lunch with the pigeons I was like that crazy pigeon lady oh, I miss those days I miss those days a lot loved university ma'am not the exams but i love the classes and the learning um so yeah speaking of pigeons um we're doing vintage story today i mean that that is the smoothest segue ever uh because i didn't know what else to do and i ran out of time so <laughs> so vintage story um also i have uh i have some new decorations in the decorate stream thing okay um and there's a new point redemption for a little like game thing um you've probably seen it in some other streams as well i think i'm going to use it for giveaways on the 24 hour stream so we need to test it this week uh, just to see how it, it fits out because the tool that i used to use for giveaways which is called lock tools or latch tools um has been taken offline and i can only find it in a dot air format and i don't think adobe air even exists anymore <laughs> um so yeah if you're curious there is that point redemption for a parachute game um i probably will end up reducing the cost of it actually i should do that now before anyone does i think i set it at like a thousand points kind of ridiculous. um 
Yeah, we don't. So I don't have any particular plans. Let's make it a hundred points. It's got a 30 minute cooldown just so that it doesn't like dominate stream. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, so yes. Oh, so yeah. So anniversary week stuff. Uh, we've got a 24 hour stream coming up. Okay. Yeah. Hey. So yeah, just type drop in chat and uh, it'll start. There you go. Hey. Oh my God. That's so cute. I, I use streamer bot to like put together. So I think what we might do for giveaways is just like whoever gets the highest points wins. It's supposed to put like your score in chat. You're in the leaves. That's pretty good. Okay. It didn't seem to put your points in chat. But I thought that could be like a cute way of doing giveaways instead of doing like marbles or something like that. And it's completely random and cute. There are a bunch of different skins for it. Um, but I just, I kind of like the leaves. It says it's supposed to be score in chat. Um, and it does it does fade away by like when, if once it's inactive. Um, oh, it should be a drop recent or drop top exclamation mark drop top. I think. Maybe I have to do it. Oh no, there you go. Interesting. I'm curious what the thing is. Drop recent. What does that one do? You are the best. I don't know if it saves. Okay, we'll have to see how it goes. I don't know how long a session is. Um, like if I have to start a game once it's been inactive. So yeah, we have to test it this week. Oh good. Um so yeah, I don't know, just see the video. So it just fades away by itself. I don't want to leave it. You can leave it up all the time, but I don't want to do that because get in the way. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. The latch tools that I used to use was like a really fun thing. It had like this play those like badass like heavy metal piece of music and had like people's names and it was like really high energy um but the guy who made it stopped just fair enough it's his prerogative okay um let's come over here so it has a 30 minute cooldown on it again just to like bam i need to turn it and that on. I need the wrappers more than the code, I think. Not the bees. Um, I'm really, I got really anxious because I realized it would come up on autumn and I have like buckle food um also the blue fang are not able to provide a vintage story server unfortunately so that sucks <laughs> but I understand <laughs> but it still sucks so I'm trying to decide if I should set up if it's if there's enough interest to set up uh 
like easy mode relaxing server or just let it go so we'll see I just start, I swear I start streaming and I just end up yawning. That's it. I have a, a t shirt from Molly's merch shop coming in this week and I'm pretty excited. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, we were garden planning, right? No, we we are done with the spooky thing. No more spooky thing. Oh, I think Daisy is barking. Be right back. We had a uh, Amazon package him in. Hey, the the spooky the spooky thing is gone. Fuck my found out how to get rid of the dang thing. Okay, so we were planning a garden, which seems kind of a decision to make in fall. We'll see. I may get better. I may actually get better crop growth in fall. Um, let's put some medium soil in here. Let's get some stuff planted anyway. Honestly, I still don't know. My brain's just like, what do I do with all this sunshine? I don't know what the temperature range is here. This garden is clearly going to be too small, but...
What do I want to plant in here? I've only got a couple of onion seeds. Turnips? Spelt. Turnips. Alright. Um, yeah, I was like, I don't, I, I hadn't picked what I decided what I wanted to stream yet, so I was like, well... Minus five. Let's try, try some turnips. I was like, I could try something different, but I know full well I'm just going to end up gorging on this or binging on this, I guess. Uh, when it comes to anniversary stream day, so. How do I... Oh, it's combined with dirt, right, to make the stone pass. I don't think it's going to be in a... Okay. Even if the garden doesn't work immediately, I should still get planted. Yeah, thanks buddy. I appreciate your feedback. Your feedback is valuable. The poll is important to us. One, two, three. You know what? It doesn't matter how many I have there. Okay, so I'm gonna need more hope. Considerably more. And then I need the stick. What was I doing here? Oh right, I just wanted flowers there. Man, the neighbors are so pushy. Should I put the timer on that game a little shorter? shorter I think it's really cute I'm glad it doesn't last for long I get a 15 minute cooldown That's not right. Here. Do I? Oh. We need to dig up all that dirt in there and replace it with medium too. Uh, oh, hi. I have some high fertility soil somewhere.
Uh, I have 11. That's really not worth it. We need to go hunting again, too. So we need to dig up here. I think I may have updated it so it shows this tool. don't know if I need to do my god that sound effect yes I completely missed Why is it appearing in the middle? I love that little sound. Now I'm like, but I'm gonna see if you land. supposed to give you the score in chat. Oh, it did. Okay. Here we go. It was a bit off center when you did the first time, so it is random. I wonder if we can... I get a fixed location. It's so, it's so cute. I think I don't know. I think it's a mushroom. I wasn't entirely sure when I saw them, but you know, I was checking it. There's a bunch of different themes. Like swimmables and stuff, but I don't know, it's leafy, it feels, fits with the thing. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Oh, alright. Right, well, let's get some stuff planted. Hmm. 
We'll see how we get on. Oh god, I'm getting up with rabbits really fast. And crabs. Oops. No, I'm just gonna leave it there actually. So pretty. Uh, oh, I'll just do that. It's really dumb. What am I doing there for? Oh gosh! <laughs> like, why is there a cat on my screen? Hi, Sama. It was a scary cat. Thank you, Sama. That one's so cute. Okay. How is Sorba today? I, I actually wanted these here. Well, that's amazing. I hope you're having fun. Okay. Now, it's time for the bucket. You need a bigger pot for more castle. Oh no! Is that is that something that you can do? I'm not familiar with the uh, way the game works there. You just have to. Oh, okay. Well, that that's good though. That means that that's something that you can do. Uh, no. <gasps> you can make a hitch. That's really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's pictures. There's all these games come out and my brain's just like, yeah. Uh, or you could just play Vintage Story. Like, okay. That's cool.
They built this like fancy, well, not really, crap, the garden. I haven't needed it. All right. Shit. I knew that was going to happen. That's okay, the carrots will still grow. It's uh, aquaculture. So now we have water. I guess it'll take a while to uh, get out there. I'm just going to leave that block. It'll be fine. All right, so we've got some stuff planted. Things are growing. So now what? All shoots full. So the original reason I was looking at that is they had a bunch of games. Oh, here's a maze. Cute. So, wait, wait, did I throw my, my knife somewhere? Did I have a knife? Am I confused? What is that good for? Okay, that's only good for farming.
and other such fun things. I feel like I had a Alps blade somewhere, but I don't. I must have thrown it in a, a peak of rage or something. I'm gonna go pick some flowers. My berries are flowering. Buddy, what are you doing? Hello? Sir? Got a lot to say. Oh, look at that. Look, they're even the red top grass. It's so pretty. <sighs> so pretty, and it just it makes me mad. I've been. I don't know if I've been down there yet. I just wanted six flowers. What if I go down in that cave and there's another scary thing? Exactly. What if there's two? Look, there can't be two. Everything's watered. That is safe from, well, actually, not quite safe from rabbits. That, that water block is. So the rabbit can't jump over the edge. Okay. Why do I have a hand basket on me? Oh, because I upgraded a backpack. Oh, I should have done this actually. Yeah. Okay. So apparently you can upgrade. How are we doing in the food? I've got one pot of food. I've got a bunch of cabbages. You know what? I think it is a good time to go hunting. Oh, there it is. I knew I had one. Ah, uh, knew it.
Oh, okay, we'll get that in the air. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need food because it looks like everything's starting to you know, grow again. Now it's cooling down. So. Let's take a stack of, of dirt. I'm going go hunting, but I want to check out that cave first. So I need rocks. Where, where was it? Over here somewhere, right? I'm over here looking for Lupin. I lost it. Ah. Oh. There's nothing in there. Nothing to see. But I do need some rocks. Ow! Poor fox has been in there for like years. All right, stack of rocks. Um, there were pigs to the south. I don't know how far they travel from their spawn location. Raining party! Hey! Hello, back! What are you doing? Hi! How, yeah, I noticed you've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. I hope you've been having fun. Look at all these mushrooms. Hmm, liver mushroom. I'm good, thank you. How about yourself? Welcome in and thank you for the raid. You might be hooked. Was, was that intentional? That was, that was quite the pun. See what you did there? Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, welcome in everyone who came over with Flowback. Um, I hope you all had a lovely time. Um, uh... I am wondering why there's a hole in the ground there. Uh, I am Del Deloria. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I am just putzing around in Vintage Story looking for uh, a tasty or kind snack or two or three. I uh, thank you for the follow. If you've been following along with Flowback on on uh oh look at those words. Uh on his journey through Dead by Daylight, you probably know my husband. A flint gold. Where the heck are all the pigs? What I want to know. Do the pigs go away in autumn? 
Because there were like two packs wandering around here and now I'm not seeing any. Got this man. Dead by Daylight is one of those games where I can watch... Aha! Uh -huh. I can watch sometimes. Um... But the sound effects uh, on some of the killers, especially, are just so rough. Where? Are they she? I don't know if I'm far enough, I guess we'll find out. You're enjoying the mores? I mean, that's the nice thing with it, is uh, there's so many different styles of doing things. You can find something that you, you know, that fits. Yeah, I'm just throwing rocks at it. I've got a slingshot. Oh, look at those. They're so pretty. Uh that bright red. Surely that's super delicious. I mean it's not. I'm I'm not gonna eat that. Oh Delirey one quest on Delirey one dink donkey. 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 Delirey one dink donkey to you too. Horace, thank you so much. For Eleven months. I am not doing the pizzas. Flint keeps offering, and I'm like, no, I'm good, thank you. So, so. We we ain't doing the pizzas. So, so. Absolutely not. Yes, get those points in. Do it. Oh, there's another one. Ow. Ah. So, so. ah! Piggy got me! That's why I tend to do it from far away. I think that's my first answer. No, no, no nasty pizzas. Oh. Much to Flint's disgust. Get that going. If I did do something like that, it would be with nice. So I actually, I was contemplating. Oh, I didn't realize we're in the middle of an ad break. I missed that. Um. Instead of having the cursed pizza like Flint did, have like a charcuterie play. Um, but instead I think I'm just going to get fixings for it because I'm doing a 24 hour stream. Uh, 
No. Uh, because I'm doing a 24 hour stream, I want to be comfortable. Um, though, you know, nothing brightens one up like murdering a husband. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, so I'll, it'll be, I'll have, uh, I need to go to the store and pick up some, some snacks at some point. Some, you know, fruit and cheese and, and crackers, easy, things that are easy to eat and filling. 24 hours, oh my god, do you imagine how soggy you'd be? Like, I'd look like a prune by the end of it. We, uh, we just got our pool set up yesterday. Um, it's a bit scuffed. But, you know, it works. So, had a, an afternoon sploosh and an evening sploosh just to see what it was like in the evening. Uh, it was a bit cold last night. I am a big chicken. Flint was like toasty, toasty warm. And I was like, <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, we got, well, Flynn's mom got us uh, one of those, like, it's a, like a temporary one. So it's above ground one with like a, the inflatable ring on it that sort of holds the shape. Um, so she got us that and then we got like the, yeah, it's basically a, an adult paddling pool. Um, and because... I did set up right. It's only like, I don't even think it's two feet deep, but it's still like deep enough that you can like lay down and be submerged, which honestly, when you're, it's like really hot, that's where you're, okay. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it, it didn't, I didn't do a very good job setting it up, but it works. And I went out this morning and the yard isn't flooded, so I guess that's fine. Um, I was actually trying to think if there was like a way of getting like if some sort of like yarn or something where I could do a craft stream, but like in the hot tub, basically sit in the pool in in a uh, t-shirt and shorts and uh, go into the pool, <laughs> the pool category and just do like knitting or crochet or something. But I can't think of any yarn that would actually work without feeling terrible being knitted. I don't know if I should try and go back and get that pig. I can't remember what it was. I think it was off to the east. Plastic yarn, maybe? Oh, I could take all the trash, the, like the plastic bags that we've got and like use them to like weave a mat to sit on out there or something. Hi Drax. Might be something. But you know, if it's really hot, I'm quite, the, the idea of just sitting out there in a t-shirt and shorts and being like, lol, hot tub stream. It does entertain me. It's so pretty. Um, so we we have sealed <laughs> hey. Wait, you're like we're in the same hemisphere. I mean, north of east, south, wise. I thought. But hi, hello. I I just got my ass handed to me by a pig, so that was elegance in in classes. There are so many mushrooms around here; it's ridiculous. Now I'm seeking guessing myself. I, oh, never mind. I'm like, where did I die? Well, I can just 
look for my grave marker. Dark pigs. Oh, this is looking familiar. Oh, hello? I know we're on passive, but I'm still just like, oh god. Oh my god, there's so many of them now. Where did they all come from? How did I get so far from home? Also, what's in here? Oh. Hmm. Well... Possibly death? It's always a good sign um, when you get these cavernous pits. Oh, what's that down there? Is that bismuth? Oh, it's bismuth! <clears throat> I don't think I can dig that up yet. Oh, I can't. Please don't walk in between me and the rocks. Buddy. I don't know what I can do with this, but it's so pretty. I need it. Is that just a, I don't, oh, that's a deep one, yeah. That's gonna fuck me up if I get that. Go away! What is bismuth good for? Ooh, shiny. Work for temperature 135 degrees Celsius? That's really cool. Oh, bismuth bronze. Oh. Okay. I think. Maybe? I don't know, I'm just making knowing sounds, but I don't know any- ah! no. mm -hmm. They're making me so anxious that they're gonna like... Cross between me and, and the pick and then I'll somehow aggro on them. Oh god, this is gonna be another one of these caves, isn't it? Whoa! What the heck? What is that? It's like a full-on fireplace. Let me just uh, do some decorating. Look at all that firewood. Oh, Ooh. okay. Um, it's even a little hand basket. The 
This is so cute. Bong. All right, today is not a day for me to be wearing my in ears. No, apparently not even a little bit. Sometimes my ears just get like super itchy if I wear them. Alright, get my earrings. Sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's just like too much. Alright, well, uh, you can have that. Silver knife? I mean, sure. What is that good for? Is that good for something? The tank? Metal tank? Oh. No, it's unusable clutter. Wait. Uh, honeybee? What do? Uh -uh. Like, that's, that's it there, right? There's unusable clutter, but then why? Is there a recipe to make it? Because that's something I need. I know these are rotted, but I kind of like the way it looks. Look, these sconces too. Is it though? Because it says. Usable clutter. I don't think it is. <laughs> All right. I just, I just want to pick up here. All right. So I'll take that too. I'm just like, oh, look at all that firewood. I don't even know why I broke that because I can't. What is that? Is that coal? It is. Okay. Care about that. Okay, so that was interesting. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool if you found them. It's kind of Uh. 
Oh. Why am I why am I going down here? Like there's nothing here. <sighs> well, I need to keep looking, looking though, because if I find ruins, I can get the metal parts, then I can fix that translocator. The devil can. Okay, well that was interesting. Um Yeah. I've been in there. Well I don't have space. Oh, I do have space. Wait, do I have space? How much the medium. Okay, I do have space to get revenge. Ooh. Revenge on the pig. I want it to be all, all the time. I absolutely love the vibrancy of the colors. Ooh, I don't know if that was the one that got me, but I'm going to call it a debt paid. I think that is the score. We've we've settled the score. I need that. Yeah. I just like it's just it's so pretty and vibrant and it's a hunt like it's just it's so me. And then you get like all the pretty mushrooms that yeah. I'm saving that one for you. Like so many pretty mushrooms. Is it these ones that are? Yep, so almond ones are fine. But not the algarics. been down here yet? My oh, sucks. Oh, right. I can hear the awoos. me. 
All right, I can still get out. I was just like, uh, I ran out of debt. I realized that I need to just start carrying clay with me when I go into these places, because then you can just make like cobblestone blocks. Ooh, saltpeter. Um, and you don't, it takes up least inventory. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> what's this? What is the glow? Whoa! But I don't have any blocks to get back out. Oh, that's right here, too. Wait, huh? Oh, here. Whoa. Hmm, they're so pretty. Oh god, this cave system's huge. Yeah, this is my life and my house now. It's made for me. It's got pretty mushrooms and lots of saltpeter. Love that lighting. You can't harvest these, right? Oh, these are in my house. Oh, the shadows of the drifters down there are so fucking terrifying. I... Oh, oh, oh my god, the system is huge. Starting, starting, starting to get anxious. <laughs> I should mark, come back and mark the entrance. Oh my god, it's... Mark the entrance. So I can come back with... Some more dirt. I do, I do like the, the games in this mode because there's no way in hell I would be down there on a server where things can eat me. So I never have any armor. <laughs> I'm too chicken. Big baby. Okay, let's let's mark this one as cave picture. Is that it? Cave entrance. We're gonna make it blue and pin it. And then maybe I'll remember why I made it blue. delicious mushrooms. These are pretty. Need oh, three. Oh god, well here's the pigs. Now I don't need them as much anymore. Actually I probably oh, no, it's fine. I think I have enough limestone that I could make some more lime water. 
Six mushrooms. All right, that'll do. Being seduced into more caves. And then I'm like, oh, but look, there's more caves. I had this <sighs> cantina bowl thing for lunch today, and it was like rice and beans. Oh, this is pretty. And like avocado and it was really yummy. But apparently I'm still hungry. Yeah, it was it was good. Not as good as Chipotle. Their, their bowl, their burrito bowls are fucking amazing. And also I can, I can also make a pretty delicious burrito bowl. I don't want to brag. But I do make a pretty mean burrito bowl. See, now the problem is if I look at it ev everywhere I go in autumn, it just looks really pretty. Even if I'm going, oh, I am going the right way. But yeah, I had like a big old bowl. It was like rice and beans, and it was like really filling. And now I'm hungry, and it's only been a couple of hours. I. Don't have any leftovers. So rude. Where am I going? I have my house pin marker pins. I'm just going the complete wrong way. I planted some crops just like on on the 1st of September I think so I don't I don't know if they're gonna grow very well or if in this location September is like the best season to plant I still feel like it's a little too hot but I guess we'll see what it's like in winter so I think I turned True Winter off, which is a bit cheesy. Hi Toast. Toast, do you have a colour preference for your scarf chunk? Also, I saw, uh, I posted a picture in the memes channel. Um, that I saw and I thought of you immediately. Okay. Going the wrong way again. Oh! Blueberries! Fuck feathers. Blueberries!
Okay. Look, I'm doing like a big circle around where my house is. Oh, it was just a like a bedding set that looks like French toast. I've I've been seeing your um your your conspiratorial chatter. I'm most intrigued. Oh, here we go. I see light. He's just in a big. Isn't that fun? I was like, that's such a cute, clever idea. Like you could just have all your bed, your cushions look like little pats of butter. Not think I was gonna make it home. It's gonna get lost on the way. Thank you. I can't believe it's been as long as it has. Considering I'm not very good at like it, well, actually, what it is, maybe, is that I am terrible at finishing things. And I never consider stream things done, so maybe that's why <laughs> uh, I'm still streaming, because I, I don't know how to stop. I'm really good at starting things and not finishing them. Uh, but we got some we got some plans for so we're doing a 24 hour stream this weekend. Um You know I said I wasn't gonna do it again. I'm doing it again. So starting at five o'clock Eastern. On Saturday night. Um, we're starting off with some American truck sim uh, with a couple of friends and I figured that will be, give us a, a good momentum potentially for the rest of stream. Um, we've got a bunch of different games we're looking at playing but I haven't decided in what order I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it by air. I think last time I, I would play like a single player game and then I'd play something with co-op and then single and then co-op just to try and keep the pacing changing. I can see that you've been building secret stuff and things. I don't know what you've been building, but I can see that you have been. It's very mysterious. So, eat stew with mushrooms and cabbage. Oh, yes! I want that. I 
I relocated the uh, the coal chute that we made so I can just access the coal directly from the side. And I've got my little empty wall so I can see the level of the coal. The little hatch so I can just like add to it when I need to. It's It's pretty handy actually. Oh. I took off my like super long pink nails yesterday too. That was a job and a half. It took hours and it's still not off completely. But I refused to pay <laughs> to, to get them off because I like making things difficult for myself. How many? Hang on. Will I have time? I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that fun call. I might have time to squeeze in a part, uh, like a building contest thing for Conan Exiles. Possibly. Possibly. Um, I mean, I'm going to have 24 hours to play so I can, you know, I got plenty of time. And honestly, the best way of, of passing time is to get stuck building into things and all of a sudden hours just fly by without even realizing. Oh my god, it's taking so long to hurt. Never mind. My brain's misfiring. This whole six servings thing is bollocks. But I suppose I don't have to store it. Two cooking. All right. Cabbage and almond mushroom.
Oh, so that's two servings. Wait, why why is this in here? Or okay, we can still get another few meals out of that mess. I still have some. Some fruit and veg popping up here. Buddy, you better not get in my garden. Um, I don't have... that one. Village. Hello, fish pickles. Welcome in. You're having a lovely day. And up some cabbage and mu cabbage mushroom and meat stew, which sounds delicious I am thank you yes just playing one of my favorite games relaxing today taking it easy all week because we have a 24-hour stream this weekend so I've given myself permission to just chill out we had, I had big plans for this week organized for me and I've basically just turned around and ignored all of them. It's, it's not something I do likely. I did it once last year and I actually had a lot of fun. Um, and I learned a lot from it. So I think this year will go better. But yeah, so we just, just cruising along this week doing the things that i enjoy and hopefully stream enjoys them too do you play vintage story come on finish cooking have food to make Man, this thing is just like gobbling up the firewood. Yeah. All right, what do we got? It really, wait, can I do? Well, no, it's not gonna let me do that. You've got to have two portions of meat for it to behave. All right. Fine. I don't have my cabbage then. I love that these hot meals steam. Oh, wait. It's such an, a neat detail that's completely unnecessary, but adds much to it I think they do the trapdoors count for cellars basically anything that would be considered a solid block you can use a trapdoor for and it's so incredibly helpful um so I don't know if I've got a cold one there 15 days Well, yeah, see? Six days. So, 
they're, they're great for that and also for anything like if you want to stop um stuff like coal from falling out of a, a block you can use a trapdoor as well discovered that by accident which is like the best kind of discovery Go over there actually. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Well, I don't think I can make any more because I've run out of props. Yep. Not only can you harvest coal through the trapdoor, you can put it in as well so I was messing the other day to try and see if I could make a coal shoot um so I was curious so you can as long as you've got that block there you can just keep on adding and it just makes the tower taller and taller so you can load it from the bottom and I guess because it consists, considers coal kind of a liquid, you can also add to it from... Yeah, again, it was like we were just fucking around and I was like, wait, what if... What what if? Uh, you can use like half blocks as well. But this, I like the trapdoors because it just feels... I've got a half block in there. Using the... Uh, the trapdoor just feels a bit more like you're doing something. Alright. I think I keep on putting my bowls down and then to pick up loot. Yeah, I mean, if you've got, if you're limited on space, and the crates make so much more sense. Um, but there is something, see, there's something just really satisfying about being able to just like, you know, when you've got a forge, just be able to grab the coal and put it straight in. It's that first order retrievability or whatever it is like, they go on about. Okay. Um. We've got some hides and some hides there. You get some more backpacks. It's the 9th of September. Oh my god, time is going so fast. I'm starting to panic that I don't have enough food put up for summer, winter. But it's a warm climate. Like 5 o'clock in the morning and it's 16 degrees Celsius. So I think we'll be okay. Cabbages are coming along nicely. I'm on passive, so everything just ignores me. Okay, that was looking good. I don't have any hives yet, but there are so many bees around me. Um, okay, well that doesn't really help, but there's like, I don't know how, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's at least a dozen beehives. Like, just within, like, a minute's run of here. I should get them set up, actually. And, you know, like, the... A windmill. And a bunch of other things. I settled in a ruin. Or at a ruin, I guess. So I really do need to get a windmill set up, and then I can get a health app. And that'll help too. Yay! 
yeah, these the set of ruins was really neat. It's one that's added by the mod Better Ruins. So I'm in. It's it's modded, um, not heavily. Um, I don't know if my mod command is working right now. Um. I think that's up to date ish. Okay. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot, I was doing something, and then I was doing something else, and then I forgot what I was doing. I keep on getting caught up in how pretty this game is too. I was, I was cooking. Right, yes. Okay, so I'm full on food now. I only have a handful of copper ingots left. I've got a bunch of silver. Tin. I really need to find some iron. And there's no iron under my house. Even though someone told me there might be. grossly mid misled into an adventure under my house tracks <clears throat> there was absolutely not iron i've tried using the prospecting pack but it's just such a frustrating experience that's what i should do that's what i want to do right now All right, stack of dirt. Let's take. Are there any of these? These? Oh, that one's. Oh, that one's sealed. Is it? I. It's an interesting thing to do, but I never seem to have very good luck using it to actually find things. off the full crocs 1.1 1. 1 years I take that with me so I've tried like going in where there's caves nearby so I don't have to like excavate well actually I've only prospected in one spot <laughs> right now uh, which was absolutely rubbish for everything I had I don't think even though I've played a lot of this over the the last six months I still don't think I've quite wrapped my head around how it works Like, I understand, like, putting down the three points and um, the, the numbers that come up, but it's just, like, my head wants to say that it's a percentage of whatever it is in the area, and I know it's a percentage, like, a likelihood that it's in the area for whatever it gives, but my head refuses to accept that. And it was like, no, it says it's common so therefore it must be easy to find that's that's not what it means but my head says it is have we been down here
Well, they will lose copper. I don't think we have been down here. Yeah. I have definitely not been in here. So that's that's the one that basically says if there's oh anything in the actual area. I guess then you could do like a proper grid. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've been in this cave system at all by the looks of it. to grab clay I mean that's still what like a quarter of a block it's not bad though oh god wait is this gonna be Oh, there's copper right there. Oh, I might as well take that while I've got it. Is there a... I can't tell if there's a tunnel there or not. I think I'm gonna go to the other side. Oh, that looks enormous. Okay, so do we explore this one or do we go back to the glowy mushroom one? Hey, thank you for the follow. It was like the glowy blue mushroom cave. I'm like, oh, where are my markers? We should go to the glowy blue mushroom cave, right? It's It was interesting and I was like, we need to come... I'm paying for this one. I have a full stack of dirt. <clears throat> oh, I keep forgetting to check for the tree hollows. Devil's tooth. It's giving me poisonous plants. Did we ever figure out what those bloody things were for? The astral gears? Oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. Uh, so... It would be a great time to stand up and stretch and move thy legs. Okay. I don't give a shit about that. Wait for it. <laughs> I casually toss it there and all of a sudden this monster just spawns. So I was like, oh god. That would be my luck. Honestly, I don't really care about these either. All right, uh, I'm gonna go take my air break, my my break break because I have a bad habit of not doing it. Uh, you didn't get an ad? Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna take a break anyway. So yes, everyone should go stand up, stretch, get a drink, have a wee, and I will see you in a few minutes because I'm trying to keep in the habit of taking breaks. So I will see you really soon. 
Enjoy the scenery. All right, I did. I I tried to find a snack, but I was unsuccessful. So I I opened the fridge, and nothing amazing was there. Which is quite offensive. And disappointing. It's really nice when you open the fridge and you're like, ta-da, there's a snack, instant snack, a snack. Apparently, Flint was uh, on the same thought process. Okay, we're the, we're gonna go. We're gonna explore this blue cave, blue the cave of the blue mushroom stuff. All right, we're somewhere around here.
Okay. Here. I have a full stack of dirt. And I'm not afraid to use it. Saltpeter, which I'm just skipping past. Though I think you can. Should pick some up on the way back up for <clears throat> fertilizer. Alright, we. Man, I really wish you could have us that. It's so pretty. <sighs> okay, no, we, we're going left. Hopper. Blue glow is beautiful. Okay. Well, I did want some more copper. Actually, while I'm exploring these caves, I should be using the, um, pick. Just in case, except if I use it here, it'll be like, hey, there's copper nearby. I think on the next ad break, I might go and get some toast, put some ginger preserves on it. Some hot butter toast. Ah! That was uncalled for. Alright, let's do that again. This is a lot of copper. Are these... These are rich chunks, too. Mmm, rich chunks. My favorite. Part of my snacking problem is... This container that I have behind me of popcorn, the mix of cheddar popcorn and caramel popcorn, and I, I popped it open yesterday to taste test it because, you know, that's very important. Um, I got it as a snack for this 24-hour stream. But now I just want to eat it.
Thank God this vein is just going. It'd be great if I could find some iron. Because there's a meteor nearby. Oh, gee. Rabby, that scared me. Also, welcome back. Apparently, I'm scared of croissants now. No, <laughs> it's okay. I was very focused on my my mining. It, actually, I was focused on thinking about popcorn. No. There's a sad thing. The um <clears throat> the French toast croissant that I had a couple weeks ago was pretty good. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, French toasted croissants. It was pretty good. It, I think it, it exists better in a hypothetical space where you can imagine uh, all the deliciousness. Wait, giant slice of pizza and then rolled it into a croissant. Oh. Oh, interesting. It took me a second there. What is this offer is ridiculous. I, it was a very, like, I would say French toast croissant, croissants is something that you should try. For sure. And it looked pretty fucking fancy too. I think it'd be a really good use if, if on the unusual event that you end up with stale croissants in your house, it'd be a good use for it. Though I don't know anyone who gets stale croissants. Croissant. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, really? Who's gonna have stale croissants? I know, it's so silly. I, look at how much copper there is here I know I had I'm getting disconnected from chat I actually had to throw some croissants out last week because they went moldy and it it broke my heart because I was saving them for a special occasion um and it hurt my soul too. I was saving them for special. So, you know, like, so I could sit down and like, you know, have a, have a cup of tea and croissant. Um, and it just, it, it didn't eventuate. And by the time I finally got around to being like, right, perfect. I looked at them and there was like mold on one of them. I was like, no, my heart. Thanks, I was sad for me too. <laughs> My God, this rich crystal. Whoa, rich crystallites. I don't think I've seen one of those before. That is a valid response. I felt like I let everyone down by not 
by by letting a croissant go moldy. I don't think I've ever seen crystallized chunks before. It is, right? This is all rich. These jerks drawn by the noise. Well, it started before beforehand. Like it, I've been working on it for a while now. I could stop, but it feels like walking away from this would be, you know, a poor decision. At least I won't have any reason to just keep on using flint tools. Ravi. It's already going moldy. Look, it's green. It's got green spots. Too soon. Harshing my vibe, Rebby. I think that's how the youth say it, right? I don't think... Yeah, moldy copper and a nice cup of tea. I've never seen a copper node like this. <laughs> Actually, I forgot to, to update that today. What are we at? Oh, we're yellow. That's fine. Dark Wavy is always welcome. I feel like it's important to let to let Dark Wavy out. Sometimes, you know. All right, is that it? Okay, so I haven't. I haven't checked for any oblique blocks. Um, and honestly, I think that's fine. I don't imagine even being able to use that much copper. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It makes total sense. It's also, it's like when you get a car battery, it starts to run down. You know, you need to fire it up and let the alternator do its thing. Otherwise, the battery goes flat. We can't have that. Buddy? I could, I could open. Who's that? Ah, uh, this is George. It's Jeffrey. Oh, they, oh, they got the whole family out. Oh my God. Ugh. I'm so glad that the spikes don't, um, imagine if the spikes had AOE damage. That would be terrible. I don't know which way to go. I think this is the way I came, right? Oh, well, I guess it answers that. The dead end. <laughs> genuine concern that I'm gonna like run them over and it's gonna hurt. Me, not them. Or 
also a little bit concerned because when they take damage, creatures, even in passive mode, if they take damage, they will lash out if you're nearby. And I'm like, please don't hurt me. Heck is almost out. Oh no! How will I ever manage to make another copper pick? Oh my god, this place is so big! I'm never getting out. I'm gonna end up living here now. And joining Jeffrey and George in their underground abode. Okay. That looks like I did that. Like, how do you even... I should bring torches with me? <laughs> yeah, oh. This... this basalt floor... It's it's kind of alarming here in the middle of this. Oh, we found another translocator. Wee. Empty. Empty. Invisible blocks there. It's a lot of em empty crates. Oh, here we go. Really? Grass and bone meal. Wait. That one's not open yet, so it's been marked as red. Ah! Eh. Storage. Huh. I may have to die to get out of this place. I'm completely lost. <clears throat> but that's okay. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... No, I can... <laughs> I, I can... Throw a few rocks and I die pretty quickly down here with these guys. The nightmare drifters. I'm not gonna last long against them because I've got no armor. Cool. Man, this place is so... Wibbly wobbly. I, I'm not, like, I, mm, I'm not a fan of them, you know? have been down here already. Fuck. We want 
Oh. I found the blue again. So pretty. Oh, there's a gear. Okay. I kind of know where I am. Down that way. Nothing down the air. It's so pretty. I think this is... Ooh. This is interesting. Oh. Never mind. Take it back. Not interesting. I d d the nightmare ones, I... I'm not a fan of. Oh, I can hear water. Oh! Whoa. Oh, it's so pretty! I don't, I don't like them. Um. So. Oh. Buddy, excuse, excuse you. How annoying would that be? You're just like trying to ex yeah, hang out in your cave and someone keeps on like building extra stairwells and just, you know, interfering. Okay. So what's really helpful is that I recognize some of this but not enough to use it to navigate out oh wait yeah i do uh. Must be getting near the surface with that quartz. I'm going the opposite direction to oh to the um the entry though.
which is, you know, I clearly know exactly where I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. This is, this is also the wrong way. No, it is, I'm not even going to be able to find my way back to the translocator at this point. And my, my own little stairs aren't particularly helpful. This is like the labyrinth. The, um... The, the Isha, like, maze in the labyrinth. Is it up here? Or is this literally where I just came from? It's, it's, oh my god. Oh, I live here now. What, babe? Ah, that's such a good movie. Oh, oh. No, never mind. With the power. Money of the babe. My babe. Okay. I I loved that movie. Look, this is the same spot that I was in before. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take the matters into my own hands. I don't think I can find my way out. I'm, I am so trapped. I just threw myself into a pit. And I just ate, so I can't stop to do. It's frustrating that I keep on coming the same way. I should just be using these dirt blocks as markers. Or, you know, carry some, uh, fuck it. I, I don't like that I don't know how, hey, hey, hey. Buddy? Hello? Hey. Hey? Hello? Oh, they're ignoring me? Hey. We may have to do the old rock thing. Guys, look! I'm poking at you! Be mad at me! Come at me, bro! And today in Swimming with Drifters. You know, they'd be a lot less rusty, rusty if they didn't get in the water all the time. All right, well, so much for that brilliant idea. Oh, oh, here's the copper. They do embody tetanus. But 
but this is a dead end. Nowhere else to go in here. It was the water, so it's got to be this way. found it and now I know I can just like randomly park drifters and they don't fight back which is really weird because that's not the behavior that I said it to be I feel like that's not fair on them okay well that was an exciting adventure Um, the fun part of getting that pole set up yesterday was ooh, cranberries oh, I didn't even use the prospecting pick once say um was using the the bicycle pump to uh blow up the inflatable ring Nothing quite like that to remind you how uh, weak source you are. Okay, we made our way home. And now I have so much copper. So what is it? What is the deal with this? <sighs> These blueprints are reusable and duplicable. Why? I mean, I guess just for decor? Other items will appear twice in the recipe browser below here. The lower ones will work. Others will not be clickable. Okay. But 
But why? Um... Not a bunch of saltpeter. I should go uh, fertilize the garden. This is going to be so much copper. I think I'm just going to leave these unprocessed. Because it'll take up less space. I wish you could put stuff on shelves like that, like on the bookshelves or on stairs. That would be pretty cool. Oh, the flex is getting there. Man, I need to plant so much more flex if I even want to hope of having a windmill. That way lies danger. Still not done. All right, I've got this to. units of bismuth. Raining party! Hey! It's Kaiser! Oh, hello, you joined me mid-stretch. <sighs> hello! Yay, balloons! Thank you for the raid. The rising? Surprising. Thank you! How was your stream? What were you up to? Were you building? Dell and Stereo! 
Hydrax, 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 Hydrax. Thank you for the right. Welcome in everyone who came over with Carissa. Hello, I am Del Deloria. My pronouns are she here, and I am. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing Vintage Story, but beyond that, I have no idea. I am flailing. It looks like such a fun game, and it's so pretty. I don't know, what do I? So what do I do with this? What is the benefit of a bismuth? bronze ingot it's a bismuth bronze anvil does that count as tier two yes honeybee oh oh tier three So that would be an upgrade, right? What does that take? Zinc. Oh, I don't have zinc though. I don't think I've even seen any zinc. Ick. Never mind. Okay, these don't have a decay date on them now that I've processed them. Oh my god, those are so cute. The, the balloon, I only added them today. So. I, I sneak things in occasionally. And no one's oh you redeemed them i didn't see them they're quite bright we have this going too um which i'm i'm testing to see how well it will work um as a giveaway tool now why did that not work hey It worked just before. It worked when Bear did it. Why is it not working now? At all. Even if I refresh the source, it's not working. Almost uh, try it. Let's try this. Here we go. So I'm contemplating using this as a tool to manage giveaways for the 24 hour stream. So basically, whoever gets the highest score wins. If I can figure out how to make it work properly. Um. It's so cute. <clears throat> Look at the little mushroom hats. Oh my god, that's too much. This is just like chilling out on my shoulder. Oh, toast. Dang, toast. That looks pretty good. Oh, never mind. 
Why? It's supposed to be giving you your scores on chat, too. Oh, there you go. Toast is the only one whose land is. So I thought that could be a cute, like, giveaway tool. Like, whoever gets the highest score wins, whatever the thing. So we need to test that this week. It looks kind of cute. I don't know why it stopped working. But <clears throat> no, don't set the leaves on fire. <laughs> That's my job. <clears throat> um, yeah, but the session's supposed to refresh whenever I do the. I think when I start doing the the start drop thing. Or reset drop. I like I got a couple of days to like figure it out. So -so. Hi Mel. Yes. So -so. I am. Always. I like. Okay, let's put the the copper. Oh, I need more storage. Why am I feeling nauseated all of a sudden? Weird. Okay. Um, let's. Get these molds filled. So let's go for 600 copper. Oh, geez. Four eighty. I learned uh, a little while ago that putting too much ore into the crucibles is just annoying because you end up with like two copper left behind or an annoying amount and then it's just silly. Okay. I'm really, I, I need to figure out the ins and outs. There's no FAQ on this site. Drop your character and try and land in the center of the target. Set point cost. Mods can use reset to restart the game. Or Q drop. Oh, I can set up. Uh, a fixed location for it. Why do I have to put a cooldown on it? That means I can't do it either. Well, I mean, I can. I just, I have to open the, the thing. Okay, uh, copper. Right, so I need... Uh... Why can't I put things on the floor? I 
can't. I'm. Oh God, I have so much pop now. It's ridiculous. So we'll get the basics refilled and a couple more ingots for <clears throat> should make some more chests too. Oh, where do they go? That's almost done. Oh, I have a hammer on me. Wait, why have I got that in here? Fill these in. Well, I suppose I've got the garden planted. So going exploring is is a mm. thing to do. Hi, Alpha. Lift on that. I'm a bit dazed. Thank you. It's it's hard to believe it's been as long as it has. Ow. I do a dumb. How how is it already time for a break? And why am I getting ad swapping when it's a break when I'm smithing? Not helpful. <sighs> okay, well, we have ads right now. I feel like I've just wasted an ingot because I picked the wrong thing. I think I selected the times four rather than the times eight. Oh, no, I didn't. 
Wow, that is like so much waste. I love the sound effect from Quenching Star. It should have let me do like another layer. Wait. <sighs> wow, that went really far. I really need to cut down, cut down, remove that dirt tower here. Alright, uh, planks. Extra storage is good. And then I just continue squeezing everything into the boxes I have. Okay, welcome back from the ad. Good good ad break. I'm glad everyone stood up and had a break like I clearly didn't. I've got that taken care of. Okay. So there's two translocators pretty close to here that we've not opened. I haven't seen any metal parts in any ruin. Oh, I haven't broken any spikes, so... Or junk metal, fuck's sake. Oh, you know? I know where there's a lot of these. I know a couple of places where there's a lot of locust nests. But oh, my lamp. Oh, apparently I'm hungry. Wait, was that me being hungry or was that something else? Oh no, I ran over the hot lava metal that'll do it uh. all right there's a spot not too far away where there's a bunch of locust nests So we're gonna go pick them up. Oh, I just had a thought. What if? Stream about it.
here. Okay, and we'll see if that works. Are we gonna behave? <laughs> I don't think either of us are landing there. <laughs> that sound effect is so cute! Mal, you wanna come sit on my head? I'll catch you! <laughs> I love that squeaky sound so much. I don't know, it's, do you think maybe this might be a little too brutal for using as a giveaway tool? Considering not a single one of us landed. <laughs> That's why it's all it takes is one person. These fireflies. Oh, you can? I haven't, I haven't really messed with it a great deal. The only thing I can see there is see target POS. See, oh no, I said 75%. Is it what I How do you do that though? That's so cute. Is this the Devil Cave? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, no, oh, it is. <sighs> I wasn't sure if that would like make it mad or not. I don't want to go. Like, I came here specifically to gather some materials for the cave behind me, and now that I'm here, I don't want to do it. it's icky. Wait, where did it go? Heck, where I've lost it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Try that. Because I, I only wanted it to <clears throat> come up when when I said it, rather than just popping up all the time. I said, but I changed the. Oh no! There I am. I don't think that's working right. I set it to win 600. Oh. <laughs> I did now. There we go. That's better. Good lord. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, speed! <laughs> Dang, toast. That was a good one. Death. Fiery, fiery death. Okay, thank you, Mal. That helps a lot. 
Harvester's doing pretty dang good with this. But yeah, the idea was just to be able to bring it up on a point of redemption. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember you using it. I was trying to find something to use for giveaways, and I, that was sort of interactive and visual um, and wouldn't attract bots. Oh, okay. If you have an issue with creepy crawlies, please look away while I gather these things. I'll try to like keep my camera down, but... Well, they, they are. It's just that I have the camera angled down, so I can't see them do that. These aren't giving me any scrap at all. Oh, I hate them. This ain't, this ain't worth it. <laughs> the week, but the, the guide said it did. Oh, wait, not scrap. Uh, I looked up the wrong thing. It says spikes. I knew the nests would do it, but I didn't want to touch the nests. Um, but yeah, I didn't know. Thank you for telling me about the, the window resizing now. I didn't know if um, I need to do the start drop thing every time, or if the points will just res like if the points just reset each time. I'm having to experiment, I think. I don't, I don't think I can even get to them here. Go get some dirt. Okay. <clears throat> so there is a, I see there's a reset. Drop command. So I guess I'll use, uh, Hello? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I've had a few people, but no one's actually landed except for Beard and Ours. Okay, so if I do reset drop, will it trigger if I just do that? <laughs> but I can't see it now. That's just fine because I have the source hidden. I've got a, a command, the basically the command is set so that it makes the source visible, does the command, and then hides it after a few minutes. Oh god. If I can start it with re the reset drop command, then oh god! Just okay. I'm just gonna let it sit there for now. 
I don't I don't I don't want to mind the scary the locust ness but if I do then the locusts will go away I mean it's either from the cave or like the, the cave behind me or the one where the scary living dead was neither of those are you know great But yeah, I don't know if you remember the the uh, the lock tools thing that I use for giveaways, where you get like the full screen thing and the, like the the names and the music and um the guy has pulled it down. He's not making it anymore. So I was like, I need something else with some like visual interest uh, that isn't marbles. And I was like, ooh, but what about that parachute thing? <laughs> Such a cute sound. Actually, knowing that it's just kind of confined into that corner makes me feel better as well. Yeah, I saw that. That could be... F How does it decide who's last, though? Oh, nice. Almost. Like, if it's queuing everyone up to drop at the same time, then there must be the a first person who types drop and the last person who types drop. Oh, you just do start and then everyone does it. Never mind. Uh, I love the little room. <laughs> so I think I think this might be a fun one to do and then for you know like if we're doing a bigger way we can make it larger make the source larger <sighs> okay Let's uh, at least get until daylight and then we're going to go back to the scary cave with some dirt. Uh, so on anniversary stream day, so on the 24 hour stream I've got some keys, steam keys to give away and I've got a key for a vintage story uh, and a few other bits and pieces that I'll be giving away during the stream. So. Right now, you're all helping me test the tool to make sure I can get it to do what I want. It just stays up indefinitely, huh? It does need a timer. So what do we do here? I love how many little like different skins there are for it as well. I think they've done a really cute job with the animation. Um, so yeah, like I've got a complete a key for the complete edition of Crown Exiles. Um, got Vintage Story. I've got a bunch of keys that I've picked up from Deirdrop for various games. Um, and depending on how we go for the stream, got like some some other bits and pieces. Yeah. I didn't 
didn't say that before. I don't know if that's a mess that I... Oh, that's going to be a mess that I made. I just saw the... Uh, the pack symbol there. Yeah, I don't know. I just got this thing. I just, like where I just I'm not not fond of uh, Marvel's thing. If the sound effects get irksome, by the way, let me know and I will uh, get rid of them. It's not working. I should just stand under them. was fine but still Ugh. why is that not oh i'm targeting the wrong part drop terrible things on my head. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I, it's a good thing that we made that. We filled a communication gap that we didn't even know was there. like this at all. <laughs> it's awful. I hate it. Also, why is my frame rate grouping itself right here? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're definitely pretty no. Okay, so let's see. It's not resetting.
<laughs> that sound makes me so happy. Thank you all for uh, for guinea picking it for me. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, how many do you need for a translocator? Or is it two or four? Two, okay. There's two translocators near me. Knowing my luck, one will just lead to the other. Okay, so let's see. Oh! If it's resetting. The reset, restart command isn't. Restarting it. It's so cute though. The little mushrooms. <laughs> um, use restart reset drop to restart the game we're refreshing the cache reset it Ish refreshed. The toast has the hacks, right? I just want to be a little mushroom. Just floating away. Just caught that one. Alright, so I've refreshed the cache. So let's look at drop top now. I want to be able to reset it. I choose to. By all means, carry on using it though, if you're entertained. Yeah, it's not. It's not resetting. So the only way I can think of there is perhaps generating a new link. Like a new browser source link, maybe. But I'm guessing it's assigning the numbers based on my channel name rather than anything else. Pull down 90,000. Is that milliseconds? That mil if the countdown on that is milliseconds. Oh, refresh time at 90 seconds. Okay. Well, now that I've like made the the window of chaos smaller, 
there's going to be a lot more pinball madness. Must be, Abe. Must be. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. But if I delete all, kill all these nests, then they won't spawn anymore, right? Right? There is no fucking way in hell I'd be doing this on server with the Drax's server. I wouldn't, first of all, I wouldn't survive. Uh, oh no, that's it. There wouldn't be no secondly because the first of all would take care of it rather drastically. <sighs> all right. Oh, there's another one over there. The square one? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. It's pretty neat how some stuff floats. Oh. <laughs> uh. So as long as I get rid of the metal cages, the nests are fine, right? Is that what you're saying? By all means, honeybee. Only the cage. Okay. Well, I'm taking these out anyway. So how do we... It's a lot. Okay, the the sheet thing is is not urgent. Please take care of yourself first. coming from I took care of that one there's no more spawner Ugh. all right well I've got enough fucking yeah ticks all right I've got six I have two two spinny gears and six parts. So that's good for two translocators, right? <sighs> oh boy.
Oh, I, let me just bring up my task manager a minute. All right, Vintage Story, what are you doing? You're still sitting comfortably at six and a half gig. All right. Wait. We down with the spiders. If you're if you looked away or stepped away uh, because of the sport, the spooters, we're done with them. I'm no longer standing near them, getting squeamish. I'm now very far away from them, feeling squeamish. But we done with them. What is that even for? And I got a bunch of rope, so that's nice. Stop flailing the, the shovel around, Jesus. Pretty sure. I wish these stacked. It would be so cool if they did. Right. Rope, twine, scrap. So that's not useful for anything, right? I literally just break, break. That's junk. Oh, wait, ingredient four. Ray dice, scrap weapon kit. Junk crates, don't care about that. Rusted stuff. Oh, it does have a use. Okay, we'll keep hold of it. Okay, so let's try. Raining party! Wait! Miss Chief! Hi, Miss Chief! Hello! Hi! How was your stri- <gasps> Vintage story. Surprise, surprise. Hello! Welcome in! Hi, Ms. Chief. Hey, Papa Cheese. Jundinator. I love it. That is such a cute emote. Hi, welcome in. I hope you had a lovely stream. And um, well, now I have to remember how to get to the translocator. Well, considering I'm playing in uh, Homo Sapiens mode, there's been a lot of a lot of spoops and bleh. um, <laughs> we've got we're in Homo Sapiens mode with little content on, so there's been a whole lot of locusts and drifters and gross things. I just raided a, a bunch of stuff to try and get a, a translocator unlocked. Well, with lore content on, um, it's it's not that bad. I it's I've basically got it in uh, My Little Pony mode. Like we're playing in easy mode. 
I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, the extra pick. Um, so normally when I'm playing on Drax's server, it's it's whatever grown-up settings they have. I'm not playing grown-up today. Uh, but welcome in everyone. Um, I'm I'm Deliria Del. My pronouns are she her. Um, and I can stop playing this game whenever I like. Easy. Uh, do I want to try and get to it this way? I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Yeah. I don't, I genuinely don't think there's been another game that has caught my attention uh, like this, like for such a long time as well. Like there's other games that I get obsessed with and I'll like come back to them, but to like constantly like come back. I have no recollection of how deep that translocator is. I have the the thing I've decided I don't want to dig down after all. The the thing with the mouth and the torso is a thing. Like the thing that they did, la like was it last month where they it was like a critter that looked like a demogorgon almost. I was like, oh boy, I'm already like a big wuss. I'm a super wuss. I'm gonna go back through the cave entrance. What can I? I don't think I have enough. I think we got enough stone. I'm gonna try. It's um, the mounts will be pretty cool for sure. I'm intrigued on the story content because they, you know, they said that that would that, that they were introducing the mounts for you know for the for the uh, access to the story content, and it's like, wait, what? Did I... I don't think that was the whole... I've lost... I've lost the devil pet. I think it might be... The other side of the lake. Oh, no, here it is. I found the devil pet. I don't know if you've played with the primitive survival mode or not. Um, but it adds some terrifying shit to the game. Honestly, the pace that they are putting out content, considering the team size, is really impressive. Yeah, so I encountered the, um... The living dead... element... of primitive survival... a couple of days ago. Um... That was an experience. Ooh. Trying to remember. How I, oh, wait, did I? Oh, I just found it. Ugh. I found my way here. Okay. 
so let's put dirt blocks right in, right in the middle oh i am not aware <clears throat> i didn't re oh, i recognize the name but like only vaguely wait was it you that i was emailing but now I feel like a right Muppet. Um, because I've got a, I have a key. Uh, we're giving away a key. Oh no, it was Valen I was talking to. Um, we're giving away a key on uh, Friday night. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, yeah, Friday night. So we've got my anniversary stream, 24 hour stream, and we're doing the key, key giveaway on Friday night. And I'm really excited. Okay. Now my my brain is, is, is putting two and two together. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> real crikey moment, right? Okay. Uh, these guys terrify me. Um, when I saw them the first time, I genuinely thought that their spiky bits would do like an AOE damage and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, um, so yes, I'm very, I'm very excited for the update, uh, but also I'm a big, big Jesse, a big baby. Um, so yes, I'm very excited. Uh, we've had a few of the regulars, we've, we've managed to like scoop into the vintage story family all right let's uh yes oh i need three heck okay that's fine that's fine that's progress i need one more to go let's put that one gear. There. Whew. Okay. I encountered a bell for the first time a couple of days ago, and uh, that was that was an experience as well. I encountered the bell for the first time just after getting the uh, seeing the living dead from primitive survival, like within a couple of minutes, and. I was like, no, I'm done. Added stalling. I'm too scared to keep playing. Yeah, I. Oh, kick. It scared me. I'd never heard a bell before. I saw it bouncing along and I was like. <laughs> and then it started making the noise and I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye. The night of the living. Yeah. I mean, the game's already got enough scary stuff. They didn't need to hit Ed more. Beers. Yeah. I'm lost again. <laughs> Nope. I can't remember if I walked around the waterfall or not. Okay, this is definitely, I go through here. This is 100% the right way. Oh, up here? I think, I think so. Oh, oh, or not, oh god. I spent, I don't know, like an hour trying to get out of a cave earlier. It's not that way. The saw blades are pretty scary, but I I play on these. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it. Have a good sleep. Pre appreciate your bunches and your work. You've made my husband an almost widower. 
It must have. So that's why. Uh, is it this way? It's this way. Okay. Okay. That that'll have to do as as markers to get back. Oh, I'm hungry. All right, there we go. Oh, I feel better. Okay, so we need one more Emperor gear doodad. I know I could try and get them from the critters down in the cave. But now that I found out that they're not aggroing me, it feels a bit mean to pick on them. Ow! Craps! The crab was chasing me. Hi, Jackie! Alright, that's, that's gonna be a lot easier to pick out. Wait, where am I going? This way. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. I tried to generate a new oak browser source. I don't think it's going to make any difference. I tried to generate a new browser source for this uh, overlay just in the hope that it works. So let's try reset drop. I don't understand what the point of the reset drop command is if it's not resetting. What's gonna happen? I took a bunch of granite blocks to use as like crumbs, like Hansel and Gretel crumbs, but uh, the cave is granite and the rocks are granite, so it doesn't really help. How are we, how are we doing? <laughs> I, I accidentally have some aquaculture going on here with some flax. It's very well uh, hydrated. Cannot possibly be more hydrated than it is now. And every time I think of something being hydrated or moisturized, it makes me think of Lady Cassandra from Doctor Who. I cannot get that out of my head now. Which in turn reminds me of the uh, portrait of Prince Char oh, King Charles, which makes me think of Lady Cassandra as well. Because my brain does these things. Two servings. Okay, so we need... How did I even find those temporal gears? I think we just found them in chess. I 
Um, so I guess we could go exploring more? There's two big ruins. Oh! Oh! Hello? You in there. And then I hit two... in there all right so we've got a little bit of leather working going on here which should help for industry inventory so there were two ruins that i marked off as looking interesting look at that all right give it into there quite a way south down here that looked really interesting So maybe we should go check that out. I have a little food on me, but I think berries are coming up. So, oh, let's wait until daytime and go for an explorer. I think that will have reset it. Yeah, it did. So that's only going to work for one giveaway. When does the 24 hour timer start? five degrees and fall this is perfect this ugh, this game is so pretty it makes me mad sometimes what is that marker oh resin better Oh, you didn't land? Your streak is broken. Oh, I didn't get my raft. I should go back and get my raft. Oh, right, we have ads starting in 30 seconds. So, good time to stand up and stretch. I am going to this time. Because I am quite hungry. Uh, so, I will give you a view. And then I will see you in a few minutes. It's very windy. All right, see you soon.
You should just be able to, if it's not visible, you should just be able to do drop and uh, start it yourselves at the moment. To get on, get some toast with ginger preserves. Oh, so pretty. Hmm. It's like a 90 second cooldown. Okay, what was I doing? Going home to get my raft. I'm really excited for doing the key giveaway. I think it'll be fun. It's a sort of game that the people, the ones, because it's not on Steam, I think we will only have people actually interested. The people who are interested in playing will be entering for it. And I also will not be using the word giveaway in my title. So that helps. Um, craft. Yeah, we go. I'm gonna go to sleep again. Right. I don't know if you're here, but I refunded your points for um the parachute game. Since I'm just fucking around with the testing for it. I can't remember if you, I don't know if you did it before I changed the price or not, so no. Uh -oh. I feel like the uh, the autumn leaves kind of match the game perfectly. Oh, this ginger preserve is so damn good. <laughs> See Sadie and M talking about that bed setting bed set that I put in Discord. Look, I've already, I have a goal. We're doing, we're doing the goal. I will not be seduced into exploring a cave that I'm not, ooh, like, not ready to, to get into yet. Um, but maybe I should do a little pro picking on the way. I'm like not going in, but here. Yeah, this this ginger preserve is so heck and delicious. 
it's like just the right amount of sweet and like the warmth of oh my lord look how pretty that is so pretty here Oh, rain. Hey, that's what I don't get much where I build. That's nice. October. I think we're going to be in trouble. For winter. Because I spend so much time running away from the scary monster. rather than actually planting. I put too much piece of jam on that toast and it's leaking. You know what? I'm gonna mark that because that's a good size cluster. Which one is furthest away? I'm gonna aim for the most southern one. This red top grass is really pretty too. Get rid of the blue moss. Wait, um, no, I'm gonna keep that one. Keep the marker. Oh, is that? Oh, that's only medium. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, marker for that blue fungus cave, but there's a translocator in there as well. So. time I see hills like that one right there I feel like I ought to go like dig into it just in case I don't know why I've never found anything it's not like there's gonna be a viking burial or anything now that would be a building theme not biking burials, but just like. Bike. Ooh. 
Viking. Is that a hole or a crater? Ah. I have to. This one's got stairs already. Oh, I don't have any dirt. Okay, I don't. I don't have any dirt. I still can't get over how much all copper was in that mine that bleh, node that we had before such a shame it wasn't iron some spurs brick so hmm. look at all them chickens It doesn't look like, well, doesn't look like, um, Blue Fang, who hosts our Project Zomboid server, has said that they can't do Vintage Story for us at the moment. Um, which is a shame. <clears throat> But it doesn't mean that we can't set up a, a gentle server. Um, just that I'll have to... Well, it won't be a free one. So I don't know if there's enough interest in... doing that or not. So basically, like with G Portal and uh, Molly's discount code, it works out to be like a dollar per person per slot. If I did like three months. Oh, we're almost there. around this mountain and we were almost there. There it, oh god, I had such a big ruin. I already have an anxiety over trying to figure out what to pick up. Oh, it's huge! Uh, it's too much. I 
think I was particularly interested in the wheel. Oh, that was a clown. I don't really need that now. Breakers of farming. Rotten King Mask. Red clay. Shingles. I don't think I want that. I'm gonna wear that. Wednesday. Hope you've had a good week this week. a bong. Bong. Oh wait, no it's not. Wait. There. What is, but it isn't. Oh shit. Fancy aged Carved acacia wood. I don't know if I'll like that or not. I play, yeah. I already have one of those. This little building is so cute. What is that? A blue seal? What's that? This is about to die, so let's just pop that here. Bong! kind of hoping oh that's really cute um I'm not hoping that I'll find some more temporal gears
sticks and clay. I could throw the berries, but the berries. I'm just going to call that one good, to be honest. There's nothing in there I can't go without. There's a whole massive world waiting for me to discover rather than having to double back on myself all the time. I almost got a refill of my coffee. I might have my next my next break. I feel a lot better for having eaten something though. Oh. There's so many of these caves I'm like, I should go explore. And then I'm like, but 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 inventory space as I explore. Well you seem likely. Okay. Oh, never mind. It will. It'll help once I get some some of that more leather sorted. It'll help a bunch. But I'm still like in super noob mode for big space. There's a bunch of wolves and pigs and stuff. I could just go on a rampage. But the meat will go off. And that makes me feel guilty. It's always a good plan. Was it down the air? I think it was. Jeez. Oh yeah, this is a place like where I came in, but I didn't take any. Oh god, there's so much stuff! Ah. Yeah, I remember this place. I, I'm good. I don't. I don't need any chains. Thank, thank you. It. Oh no! Fuck! Probably forgot about that too. TP. Storage. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's put this somewhere and see if I actually like it or not. No.
slightly collapsed chest. Arsenal seeds. Okay. Here's air. Honestly, the wallpaper, I don't remember. At the moment, anyway. Wallpaper, wallpaper, TP, salt. There's still just good stuff in this ruin. Okay. Hi, Nadia. Good to see you again. Like, yeah, well, I know there's something there. I don't know why I'm collecting the lore either, really. I don't have a bed with me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I guess I just have to go home again. my great hall that I'm bringing home is a scroll, a couple of storage pots. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Not a great deal of loot, really. Could have done a lot better. Uh, oh, that is so pretty. Look at that sky. This game, man. My, my lantern's kind of not helping with the view. Whoa. Dang, that last bit of sunlight. It went fast. Hey. Okay. So I'm still trying to figure out what I want to make 
as a travel project. Um, for, for road trip. Can't, I can't have empty hands the entire time or I will go stir crazy. My initial thoughts were something granny squarish. But leading to what, I don't know. My second thing idea was to find a shawl with a simple repeat. Something where I don't need a pet. Shade shawl might look work good. That's so pretty. So yesterday when I was coming in from outside, I realized it might be nice to have like a to throw on over a swimsuit. I don't know what they're called, like covers, coveralls, not coveralls. It's like a, a loose thing that you can pull on over your swimsuit. I forgot what the word is. I don't like the name, but yeah. Like if I can find a, a nice light yarn. Yeah, I think, is it like a, maybe a wrap or something? When we wrap, I think just to, to give me a bit of comfort when, uh, I'm trying to get in and out of the pool with this company that I'm not comfortable with. Beach wrap, yeah. I don't know if there's any good crochet pants for that. I 
<laughs> okay. Uh. Excuse me. Oh, no. Man, the cold. I haven't, suppose I haven't done much smithing, but the cold shooters. Doing, doing good. Running out of places to put containers. That's so pretty. You in there, you in there. Oh, you know what? That's what I want to do. Is that going to work? Not that one. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. That's like exactly what I'm talking about. Hi, Molly. Yeah, that's like exactly what I'm looking for. That's really cute. What sort of... Is that... DK or...? Oh, it's literally just two squares. It doesn't say what sort of yarn that is, so I don't know if that's... Um, what oh, wait, yarn? Oh, it's a wrap. <clears throat> cotton, the cotton blends with bamboo. Bamboo is really nice. I've not actually made any product, anything with bamboo yarn before. Um, but it is beyond like having little scraps, and it's it's so soft. Oh, that's fingering weight. That's a number two yarn. Okay. That's all right. I got you. I understand. Well, I hope you've had a nice day. You've had a chance to relax. And get away from your computer. How am I not hungry when I've done like a bunch of running? Fuck. Why do I have sticks? Oh, now I'm getting hungry. Oh, good. That's good. He's very good. Okay. It was so weird yesterday not being in front of my computer. Like, 
being at home and not in front of the computer. And being in the outside. Or whatever it is the youth are calling it these days. I don't know. Man, that's still got ages to get through. It's nice though. I um, well, so I spent most of the day uh, like I said, watching as the, the pool filled up just to make sure everything was going as planned and nothing went awry. And uh, Because it was the sun was so bright, even with my hat on, I still couldn't. I had a sun hat on, but I couldn't really see the screen. So I ended up just listening to an ebook, audio book. And that was kind of nice. Hi, Ali. I see you saw the um, the bedspread that I <laughs> that I shared. As soon as I saw it, I thought of toast, and then I was like, "Oh, Ali's gonna that's gonna summon Ali to Discord." Anything to do with sleep and bread combined? Yeah. cute well i mean that's the sort of thing like that would be actually a grainy square blanket would be perfect for a waffle design for a blanket it would be perfect because it already has the square shape so you it would have to be like you could even just do it with like one color for the middle and then join it with a darker brown and it would give you like a waffle grid and then you could have like throw pillows that look like ice cream or butter waffle waffle yeah you can make a waffle waffle i mean there is a waffle stitch which would work you could do that as well in a larger scale Thanks. They make an awful waffle. <laughs> no, no one wants to see that. The worst thing about making an awful waffle is people waffling on about it. Ah, oh, it's waffle. Awful. Mmm, <laughs> waffles. But I think that would act like doing it as a granny square. I think you could. I think that would be quite easy to do. And you could even use like different browns for the squares. You eat an awful waffle. Oh my God, that's amazing. The stream is always full of breakfasty breads. Ooh, yes. I do love a good cheese danish oh that reminds me we've got some like apple 
cream cheese toaster pastries. Why am I finding... Oh, there's so much copper here. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to go to uh, Awful Waffle last week. And Flint looked at me and I'm like, I just want the hash browns. <laughs> I get it. Oh, sorry, Luna. That's just cool, right? Make sure that's full. Okay, we're just randomly wondering, I guess. Is that a glow in the distance? Oh, God. Like, what am I supposed to manage a cave like this especially when i don't have any dirt blocks the answer is i'm not i've yeah it seems like that's a tricky tricky one to get good results in on with I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know because I'm not familiar with it, but I'm guessing most things made with like gluten-free flour just are probably like really chewy and not fluffy because of the whole, you know, gluten's not doing the stretchy thing. It was just okay. I bet though that if someone tries to make you a gluten-free pie or gluten-free whatever, I reckon they taste pretty good because someone did it for you. And baking is always more delicious when someone does it for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wavy. Wavy's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Well, Ravi. Uh, we've had we've had Wavy in chat today. Wavy's come out to play. I think that's dead end, doesn't it? Waffle Wavy. You just tell everyone that you made them. Hey guys, what's up? Like, oh, these are really good. Can I have the recipe? No, it's a secret recipe. I told you I'd have to kill you. All right, well, this was a cave that seemed full of promise and is literally just empty. I really feel like my frame rate is getting weird and stuttery. But I, I don't know if it's just me. Like, I've been getting a bit motion sick, which is weird for me, because I don't with this game. Let's see if facing helps. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, speaking of which. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Okay, that's fine. So we good. It's safe. It is a safe, pretty cave. Whoa. That is ooh, some rock formation. Oh my god, my frame rate. What is going on? <laughs> Ravi, that's really good. That's a good reference, too. I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. Oh. Now I, I got stuttering from... Yes, from turning on V-Sync. Is there a refresh rate thing here? Okay, let's bump up the... I'll read that number. Cool. <laughs> ah? I don't know if that's helped or not. No, because it's like doing a weird lensing thing now. Let's just try a hundred degrees. Nine hundred and one. Oh, you you're so cute. you're so adorable. Being all like nice to each other and stuff. <laughs> ah yes. All right, we have ads in thirty seconds. Thank you, Ravi. Great time to stand up and stretch. Have a wee, get a drink. Fall into a pile of leaves. <laughs> You too can uh, exclamation mark drop. <gasps> that too. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. So, so.
god. <laughs> oh no! You didn't make it! Whoops. I was like, why can't I see anything? I was gonna try. Oh god. I'll try and use it as a, a tool for giveaways, but I can't figure out how to reset scores to zero. Wow, Revy. So. Oh yeah, they didn't do it. Okay, I need to I need to test something else out. What I need to test <clears throat> is um I need to test if I can gift memberships to the fourth wall site. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you guys a, a link to the uh, page. Sadie's like all sedate. Look at that beer. Please don't eat me. Ah! What was that for? The game's in passive! Jack? He shoved me, he shoved me well out of the way. So I think I figured it out. So what I'm going to... Wait, where does that link go? Um... Okay, so this is the this is the landing page for that some violent for um, the memberships to my fourth wall, which like Patreon. So <clears throat> at the bottom of that, there's the different tiers. So what I have is a code, which should theoretically give. Whoever claims it first, a free month of the Mason B uh, membership. Um, so if one of you would like to try and let me know what the flow is like and if it works, um, the code should only work Hopefully once. Um and this is the code. So if whoever gets in there first and figures it out, I'd be curious. I'm hoping it doesn't ask for information. Um but there's stuff that I can't see myself, which is, you know, helpful. That's the just that's the uh, promo code, by the way. That fourth wall generated for me. Um, and that might trigger a new uh overlay alert thing as well. Yeah, Ali came up with up come up with the names. And then I made another one as well called Baby B. Yeah. I 
I don't think the... field of view going to 100 out. Well, that sounds cute. Yeah, the accounts are different because the... the accounts are per... user's website. So, like, if Molly had a membership on Fourth Wall, it would be a separate again. And I think it's to try and keep everything streamlined per creator. Wait, why is that there? That was weird. I think that would be really that would be a really cute platformer. You could have just like a bunch of flowers. And like the more pollen you pick up, the bigger you get, kinda like uh the Katamari something, but just with like pollen and bees and giant flowers. So why did that bear attack me? It's so weird. I wasn't even that far from home. But it's in passive mode. They got into my personal space. I call BS. Yeah, yeah, bear shit, exactly. Oh, no. I felt like a right muppet earlier. <laughs> we had one of the um the dev team for for Vintage Story come in and I was like blathering on. And they're like, you know we work for them, right? I was like, oh, <laughs> I am an idiot. I wasn't saying bad things. I was just like blah blah blah. Well, let's see if I can get back over there. Yeah, I like I recognized his name. Uh, but I'm kind of like, because I know it's got to be really difficult when you're a dev to go into a stream, especially one with a small community. 
um yeah like i recognize the name but yeah when you're in the dev of a game with a, a sort of smaller community i imagine there's like a bit of reticence there where you don't want to like advertise that you're on the team um so i felt like a little bit like worried for a minute then <laughs> toast um but then you know like he he uh, offered the information himself so and it turns out that was the person that i was emailing about getting the key from so that was kind of cool Well, now I have to remember that there's a bear around here somewhere that's wanting to try and, like, chew my face off. And I'm like, I don't know if you know the mod Primitive Survival. Good job, me. Uh, careful, chick chicken. Oh, God. I don't need more copper right now. Ah, what the fuck was that for? <laughs> well, no, this is I. I don't know. Maybe the whole server is made of copper. Oh fuck, I'm gonna get lost again. Oh well, it's content or something. Noble shoes, forge, jar, quartz chunks, smoky quartz, variant two, blue gray clay. All right, that's an interesting place. Yeah. Oh dear, that seems like a bit of a, a, a like a foresight there. But I guess part of part of the process is uh, with you know providing keys to to streamers is is that you uh you find out these bugs oh that's frustrating oh I think that'll be obvious enough if I come back. If I come back. Let's 
except I can't remember how I got in here to start off with. I told you I was gonna get lost. Oh, I either had to be up or down. Oh, I bet it was there actually. That way. Now the chickens are all going to start attacking me. I can't help it. I'm just so curious about these ruins. And knowing that I don't have a group. Oh, see, look, there's another one. Oh, that is a lot of webs. That is uncalled for. Oh, wait, vintage beef? Vintage beef I don't think I want to eat vintage beef that doesn't sound oh I may have to it doesn't sound delicious hmm oh well free food I guess Yummy. Okay, so not in that way. That's the way we came. It's the chicken, they got sassy with me. There's another, there's, there's ruin. I just got some metal parts. Nice. Bone meal. All right. It's it's totally worth going like back and forth because sometimes you'll catch something like on the return journey that you won't have seen on the way in just from angles.
Yeah, after that haul that we had before, I don't think we'll ever need <laughs> to get copper again. Mosquito bites. <laughs> many, many, many mosquito bites. <laughs> Gonna have to start keeping a thing of bug spray at the uh, back door. I'm now overly aware that there's a bear nearby that might be pissed off at me for, you know, existing. Not on here though. Okay, this is familiar. Oh yeah, the cave that didn't have things in it. Maybe it was taking a swipe at the bunny and I just happened to be in the way. Oh buddy, you can do it. In which case, I do not want to get between the bear and bunny. Really trying. Oh, bear is taking damage. Bear could be free food for me shortly. I can't save it! Yes, I'm hiding up on a nerd pole from a dead bear. Can't get much more fresh than that. Yeah, and pelts. Well, this is the jerk that killed me before.
I almost feel like it's not worth cooking bush meat. I was just innocently exploring and the beer decided it wanted to be. Whoa, there's some cool cave formations here. Look at that. It's a shame you can't swim up waterfalls on this like you can in Minecraft. Not that that would help in this instance. This looks like a piece of like ornate furniture. I suppose I could get a fire set up and cook the, uh, the bear meat. I mean, if I have to have a fire... The little raccoon. Wait, did I read that one yet? Nope. Oh. Alright, so we need... Grass? One before... The all starts a wildfire. like the pelts are probably not gonna last. <laughs> Ali, a picture of your doggo. Hmm, 
delicious charred goodness. I mean, valid. Daisy's got a few different names. None of them are Boofy. Like, just Daisy Daisy or Daisy Doofus. Daisy Moo Moo. Because she's got cow spots. They're not, not super adventurous or unique. It's really cute. Like one lump of fat, hardly worth the inventory space. <laughs> what sound effect? Jay, I'm good, thank you. How about yourself? I missed my pile of leaves. Over there. Ooh. I'm heavy on. I don't I don't know if I can figure out how to make this work for giveaways. Oh, bed's about to go. <laughs> it's uh, the sounds. I love that they're all little mushrooms. worry about like little overlay games and that they're like too obtrusive but I feel like that's not not too <laughs> not too bad oh that was a nice landing of course it was it was toast yeah Honestly, it's tempting just to leave that there. So they... I do have another tool. Oh no! Um, yeah. So that's this is the game that Mel has uh, on her stream. So we put it's called like Purpose School Put Put. It's because of this little game. 
And so my initial idea was to use that as a way to pick a winner for a giveaway, because it's random. Um, because it's something that's sort of like cute and interactive and it doesn't use the word giveaway, so it's not going to like draw icky people <laughs> from the woodwork. But I can't figure out how to manually reset the scoreboard, unfortunately. Um, but it's a pretty cute little game. That's the uh, website for it. So if there's any streamers here who want to nosy at it, or otherwise. But they, they do actually have a giveaway tool. So... I just thought that would be a really cute thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no point in having a toy if you can't play with it. I mean, you have it. It's, uh, I've deliberately got it limited so it just stays on that side of the screen, so... Just leaving it up. I love the sound effect. <laughs> it's just really cute. So when it does that, it's just like, oh god. Look at you go! <sighs> I'm now fighting the urge to just set the, the woods on fire. You know, as you do. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I can reset it. So I have two inventory slots free. It's fine. Oh, we could just cut some grass and sleep through the night. Yeah, because it's midnight. Yeah, that game's got like a bunch of little skins. There's like one that's like jumping into a pool, and there's like Christmassy ones, and I liked the pile of leaves. I feel like that's that's more my vibe. Mushrooms and leaf piles. I, again, I don't really know. 
where I'm going. Just exploring. Chickens? Still think it's funny that that chicken came at me before. Ooh, there's a. Is that a hollow log? Hollow log. Sure is. What do you got there for me, buddy? <laughs> You're so cute. I care about that. Rest of care. Oh, yes. That's what I needed for the last. Uh... Oh. I was one temporal gear short for what I needed. Still hopped up. Dang. Is that our top score? Not quite. Close. But not quite. Ghostess is ghostest, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I was just going to go out exploring in the hope that I found another. Uh, yes, yeah, exactly, Ravi. I've tried uh, refreshing the browser source. I've tried making a new browser source. Um, changing settings, but I think it's tied to my channel rather than to a browser source. So shy of putting it on an another channel and then capturing that somehow. <laughs> right. We're gonna browse a source. It's one that's constantly eating. Or is it one like a, a library dinosaur? I'm a Brazosaurus. I mean, I suppose I could still use it um, because it's not a cumulative score. It's a it only records the highest score, <sighs> which could potentially like nudge more people to play if you're like trying to beat that score and trying to beat that score before a certain time. But I don't know. I mean, 
mean, I could just manually, like, write the scores down in... Because there's a, a reset drop, but I don't think it works. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, there's a 90 second... Uh, pull down by default, but you can change it. Yeah, see, I reset it and it's still... Did I spell it wrong? Oh, there. Oh, so that's like the last X number of drops. One, two... Like the last 10 drops. <clears throat> I guess. So you can manually change the cooldown. There's also a way where basically I can queue it up. Everyone can... Oh, maybe that'll work. What if I do this? So if I do Q drop, okay, so if you all, like, I'll leave it for a couple of minutes and if you all do drop, and then what happens is we can start it and everyone will drop at the same time. So I'll just have to give it a couple of minutes for the uh, cooldown. I'm like, it didn't work, but no, it's like banking. I should have used a different keyword. <clears throat> oh. Because that could work. <clears throat> and then just pick the winner out of, like, the best score out of the cute draw. I just, I know I keep saying it, I just wanted a really cute way to draw a winner that would require someone to be in chat and active in chat <laughs> good i don't i don't have a hot tub but i could do it at the swimming pool oh my god webby webby you let webby out again Webby's uh, read her head a few times today. Okay. <clears throat> so apparently any of the mods can use exclamation mark start drop. And that'll do it. If one is, if if any if, if uh, any of you would like to do that, give it a go. <laughs> You're starting to feel good. Uh, exclamation mark start drop it's all one word i'm curious to see what it looks like actually dang wolfie is done oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that sound effect oh dear They do sound like lemmings. Okay, so only three people landed? So Luna, Ravi, and Jay. So how do you guys feel about using that as a giveaway mechanic then? Thank you, Sadie. Rather than tickets or something. Well, we can see from when Sadie hit start drop. So any of the scores above that command count. So we just take the highest number after that. 
is the winner. That was adorable and you like it? It is pretty cute. It's also really entertaining hearing that. Yeah, hearing everyone just like Wee! all at the same time. Hey, a traitor. Oh, hey, I've been here before. Yeah. I mean, there's other ways of doing it. I just, I'm totally fixated on having like a, a graphic thing for it. And that way you can get rid of the, uh, yeah. No, Sadie, sorry. I don't mean to, like, make you do things. Your, your, your brain today is, like, uh, what? Uh, the old lady with the stuff from the labyrinth. Yes. With all the stuff on her back. I can never get her name right. You were helpful. The junk lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is what's her name again? I'm always referencing that. Oh no, it's this creep it's a scary cave. We don't we don't we don't talk about this cave. HDO may have fixed the spawns. I deleted a bunch of stuff in there. We test. I'm not seeing anything. I think we cleared it. Woo! Oh no, there's some over there. Fuck! That's what we're leaving. <laughs> okay. This rock, though, seriously. Okay, well, let's do that then. So if we do any giveaways this weekend, uh, we're going to use the old leaf pile. She's just called the junk lady. I always get her mixed up with um, Augra. Which Baird keeps reminding me is, is from Dark Crystal. <laughs> Look, they all came out the same time when I was little. <laughs> but yeah, let's just say we'll do we'll do the leaf thing. It's like the easiest setup for a giveaway. It requires everyone to be present. There's no like shenanigans. It's one called Agnes. That, that, that's I I kind of like the name Agnes. All right, so now we're going to put these away and we're going to go down into the cave, charge up a translocator and see where we end up. Except that, whoops. 
Currently, we have ads coming up shortly. Uh, so, uh, heck. All right, taking an aid break. Uh, I'll be back shortly. <gasps> Yay! It's such a cute game, see? All right, I'll be right back. Alright, uh, gonna Ali, have good slips. Right, I need more lime water. We're going to make a new barrel, but only with 30 liters in.
Put me in a gear. Ooh. That. Is, what's the world proportion here? One to one. All right. We've got some more lime somewhere. Here. I don't know how many I had back there. Forty. All right. I'm feeling a lot more confident about using that game now. And it also means that you guys can just play it as you want. Oh god. I can't. I can't watch. In that case, I think I am going to leave it as a point redemption. <laughs> I hear ya. I mean, it's what, from three to six, it's not a lot, but that's better than what we had before. Hey. Do you? Did I end up leaving? I did leave that behind. So, I want a, gra a stack of granite with me.
shovel plus backup, axe plus backup, knife plus backup. Really need a backup axe. Take that. I completely forgot that I had letters on me. Okay. Sleep, and then we're gonna go down into the the devil cave, and open up this translocator and see where we end up going. First, I need to edit my drop. Um, Wait for them to... Okay, Let's see how that one works better. Gonna work for me. Holy crap, that had a scary shadow. <sighs> Alright, I left myself a, a trail of dirt blocks to follow, so I knew where to go. Now I don't trust the trail that I left for myself. Oh, it has to be down here. No, 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 no. 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 Hoping space time. Please hold. I 
I didn't pay. Streamlight. Look. Hang on. Get that too soon. It's it's a work in progress. Wait, hang on now. Mm. Uh, hang on. What what am I doing? Why did that hide it? Oh, you should be able to start it at any time. Sorry, I'm still tweaking the settings at the back end. Okay, are we ready to go through? Well, that's a fair distance away. That one is now open. So we're going to change that color to green. Oh, oh where am I here? Broken anvil. Wait, how far? Oh, we're quite far down. No, wait. Oh. Well, apparently we're good on gears now. much further down. I don't have a whole lot of soil. Alright, nothing of note there. Oh, 
I'll do some more bismuth. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Alright. Oh, was it late somewhere? Anyone, so I don't know. Should I try digging up to get out? It looks like kind of right now in a hell. Or should I go try and go down? the worst that could happen. Well, you see... Alright, so that's a dead end. Once again, I forgot to bring clay with me. It's gonna look deliberate enough. Probably not. Oh, it just keeps on going down. I can't believe how much saltpeter I found. It's ridiculous. That's got to be bedrock. Not quite, but almost. Only a few blocks off. Ugh. God, those things are never not spooky. Math. Like, I feel like I have to avoid, like, brushing past them. Am 
I I am ex absolutely lost. All right. So being this way, that is helpful, actually. So that's the way I came from. That's, that's not the transfer header room. There, there may be something else down there. There's, I don't know, it always seems like those translocators appear in... ...pairs? But like mismatched pairs? But at least now... Ugh. Is that bell going to be there? Yes. Uh, shut up. Ugh. Three months? That's almost a year. That is almost a year. Everyntas, thank you. So close to a year, I can almost taste it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to let me know what color you would like for your scarf chunk. Oh, that bell is so stressful. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting better at this. Is that hiding? So, so. What have I done? Oh, because I used the wrong button. It's not jump, fuck's sake. Here we go. <laughs> I just want to jump into big piles of leaves. Yes, we're all practicing for the big day. <gasps> Sadie, I think that's the top score so far for today. Right? Can Toast defend their title? Um, it's... It's literally just a, a little interactive idol game uh, for, for us to play. But we figured out a way of using it um, 
for our anniversary stream and potentially for other things for give picking a giveaway winner I I put the steps in the uh, 24 hour stream channel Sadie for when you're able to brain yeah yeah closest to 100 wins or you know what if we really want to RNG it <laughs> uh, we could do like a dice roll first between like 1 and 100 so the closest to whatever the dice roll is is the winner because not everyone lands maybe just to spice it up but we're gonna this is just like it it's literally just that's it and just try and you because you can't even really try to get a new score you just have to type in the thing but it's just cute but i think um we're gonna just i'm gonna have it up this week just for people to play with so it's just really cute Gotta use that D100, yeah. Maybe. I've seen like Mel uses it um on on her stream as well. Like Poid Poid loves this game. I can I can hear Hood's excitement when they say that we've had it. Oh well that didn't take long, did it? Oh, well now I need more tenants. Okay, I don't know who that is. <laughs> that sound effect. That's very cute. That's respectable. You know what? You landed. That's better than what we can do sometimes. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh God. Come on guys. Seriously? Did you both just land in the same spot? Wait, that was me. No, Luna win. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to blame someone else for that. That was me. <sighs> okay, though, I think I have had enough for now for today for stream. Uh, I am hungry and a bit sore and stiff. 
uh, from putting up that pool yesterday. So, I'm gonna wrap it up there, but tomorrow I'll be back on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, I will be back on tomorrow. Um I depending on the bandwidth, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Totally fair, I would have done exactly the same thing. Um, I'm gonna raid Time Wonder. Um here's a good bean. Uh so uh, feel free to join us. Uh I have no idea what he's playing. Is it the unicorn game again? I, I never know. It is the unicorn game again. Um, so yes, don't, so please uh, remember that uh, this weekend, uh, Saturday, Sunday is my 24 hour stream celebrating uh, six years of streaming. Um, so um, I would love to see you all at some point during the weekend. Um, we will be uh, having giveaways and a bunch of stuff going on. Um, here's the raid messages if you would like to copy paste uh, one of those into chat. Oh god. Um, I wonder is a really lovely person. Um, so yeah, you should just come with us. Uh, oh, there's my social links too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.